Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Small Engine Velocity. Right now, my son behind me who has his helmet strapped, strapped and safely done with swim practice. We're going to go ahead and uh, start uh, trekking our way back home. Uh, it has been uh, pretty uh, amazing with the weather lately. It's been really cool and not humid and stuff like that. So um, I'm kind of enjoying. Uh, I should have been riding this thing more. I've been riding my my car or riding my car I've been driving my car so much lately oh gloves you're right you're right I forgot gloves I've been driving my car so much that uh, I'm you know I drive the car and I, I fill up with a quarter tank of gas because I try not to fill it up all the way because it cost a fortune with supreme gas in that car and uh, we have to uh, fill up every so many days I mean that's I mean $20 is like not even three gallons in a car right now ouch that's what I don't like about these pegs they're so like you lift your leg up and you hit it but you know that's okay ah. anyways so the weather's been pretty good uh, it's supposed to rain every day it says it's 80% but it never rains so kind of makes me a little bit disappointed right that it's not that it hasn't rained yet and uh, I don't I want free water for my lawn and I haven't quite got there yet with the free water but yeah here we go time to go home uh, my wife has bought some food for us to eat so there is something to eat when we get home and it, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, we're super hungry. I watched him swim, and I swear, you know, if you swim 2,000, 2,000 to 2,500 uh, meters, that's, or yards, meters or yards, I can't remember. That's a really long distance. That's like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you know how long 2,500 yards is Then uh, in miles. Please let me know below. I'd like to know. <laughs> I don't exactly have the opportunity right now to calculate math. Uh, it's also 4th of July weekend, so I don't know if you're aware, but my youngest son, Taylor, he is uh, 11 years old, he's turning 12, uh, and he was born on 4th of July. So interesting story. <laughs> the year that he was born, 2010, the 4th of July landed on a Sunday. So imagine when April goes to labor and is going to have the baby and it is one it's Sunday so there's no one in the hospital and then two it's 4th of July <laughs> so no one's in the hospital and then as she's like you're, you know they're telling her not to push and all that stuff don't push don't push not yet the doctor's not here it took the doctor forever to get there because <laughs> because uh, I'm, I'm sure he was at a a party or something and wasn't expecting able to go into labor with Taylor uh, you know he did come maybe a week early a little about a week early he was the closest to full term my uh, oldest son he's a preemie he was born way early like I don't know six or eight weeks early or something like that so it took him a while it, it, it was really quick for him to get and he was born so small I think it was like 5.65 pounds Is this, that's pretty small considering my youngest son is uh, he was like almost 10 pounds so that's almost double <laughs> the weight of my youngest son but yeah so 4th of July weekend I'm gonna pop some fireworks no one ever forgets his birthday because everyone remembers popping fireworks but this year he said that he wanted to have a birthday party that didn't have to do with fireworks so we're, we're gonna celebrate his birthday of course this Monday but we're having a birthday party for him next weekend. So that'd be cool. So if you happen to live in the Leak City area and you're a non-serial killer um, and uh, you want to kind of stop by for the birthday party, maybe say happy birthday to my son. Maybe we can take a couple pictures, say hi or whatever. Uh, I'll be down there. Let me know. Send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, or go to the YouTube channel under the, the, the last tab on there. And it'll have a uh, phone number in there that you can text me if you want to. Um, just, 
you know, don't make me regret, don't let me regret inviting people from YouTube to come over to my son's birthday, but, you know, it may make him feel special that people come by and <laughs> say hello from the YouTube channel. He wants to start a YouTube channel so bad. He keeps telling me that he wants to record games and, and do all sorts of interesting stuff. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the story when I went to a fake job fair for high school? Uh, I was working in oil and gas, and of course, you know, we hire, at the time we hired like geologists and, and, and all the, you know, engineers, mechanical and stuff like that, and data scientists and stuff like that. So we were doing a, a fake job fair as a volunteer for inner city kids. And um, when we were out there, we were, uh, talking to kids and hey you know you want to do geology do you like rocks do you want to do good at math and I promise you like I can't tell you how many of the kids all they said was I want to be YouTube famous like really like that's a primary goal like that should be a fallback goal or that should be a goal that you should achieve uh, while you have another career for example if I was to make it to 100,000 subscribers I probably still wouldn't be a full-time YouTuber. I mean, I guess it really depends on how much money I make and, and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I like my, uh, my IT work. I like being uh, a cloud engineer. I like being a cloud engineer manager. I like what I do. Um, I guess uh, it kind of just uh, falls on the person, whoever it's happening to, to see if it's something worthy of, you know, doing a career change. Although, I am not unfamiliar with career changes. I hope that I'm not being drowned out by that news right now. Uh, I'm learning that this helmet isn't as silent on the inside as as my previous helmets were. Um, yeah, so I'm not unfamiliar with career changes. I mean, I've been a music major, uh, uh, mechanical engineering, electromechanical engineering, uh, no, computer science, uh, hotel restaurant management, uh, architecture, uh, <laughs> business major, you name it, I've, I've done a career, uh, I've attempted to start that type of career. Oh, electrical engineering. That was my last one before I just said, you know what, I'm just going to stick with IT. I mean, I know it well. I enjoy it. Why am I looking for something different? But you know me, I like to change. <laughs> I like to change things up. I can't stick with one thing too long. The only thing that I've ever stuck with for a really long time is one, my wife, and two, IT. Uh, you know, so it's not. Uh, those are the only two things I've stuck with for a really, really long time, and intend to stick with it for a really long time now. So, yeah. Uh, glad I got to ride the Zuma again. I really enjoy riding it. Uh, I got a lot of recording to do this weekend. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get enough recording done and still celebrate holidays with my my family you know so yeah uh, anyways got a lot of things to do so I hope you guys enjoyed this was a very short ride kind of a filler episode maybe it's a little bit of stories about some stuff so hopefully you enjoyed uh, you know, and if you did, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below if there's anything that I talked about that you want to talk about again in the future. Or any topics. I haven't really done a topic ride in a long time. So, maybe next time. Anyways, thanks. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, I can't do that very well with the sun on the back. And pulling up into an intersection. Uh, balance isn't really good. Uh, and then I don't like the sneakers. Anyways, I keep talking. Shut up, Caesar. End the video. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Bow, 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 bow.